Hi guys, welcome to another video clip of uh, MrLopezClasset.com. Uh, this video clip is related with the reverse polarity. This uh, video clip is part of the chapter 12 of uh, our marine electrical uh, book, uh, the episode of the chapter 12. In this video, we are going to analyze what happened if uh, the LED of reverse polarity in your AC panel is on. Why that situation is not good? That situation should be catastrophic. Uh, the boat can be destroyed. Water can enter in the boat if you have that LED on and additionally inside, for some reasons, the neutral boost bar and the ground boost bar are connected together. You remember, I, I mentioned in all the videos, in different videos, never put together inside of the boat the neutral boost bar and the ground boost bar only at the source of the power connect the neutral and the ground together in this moment i am going to explain why it's catastrophic if for some reason both 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 boost bar neutral and ground are together and additionally you have reverse polarity okay we are going to to explain that situation i hope you enjoy this video all right uh this is uh in this moment is connected the short power uh, I am going to select a uh, short power, inverter off, generator off. I have short power. I have power on the on the short power light. The LED is on, and right now I am going to connect the lights. Okay, the lights are on. Or uh, the battery charger. The battery charger start. The lights start, and uh, the outlets. Those are the outlets. This is uh, this is uh, my boat. Uh, the light, the light is on uh, because it's receiving power. Uh, what is the meaning of that? Uh, the green light is on is because my polarity is properly. My polarity is properly. Uh, what happens if the reverse polarity will be on? If the if the red light for reverse polarity is solid is on is because i switch the hot and the neutral on the on the panel i connect on the neutral boost bar the hot and the neutral is on the breakers what happened in that case if i have reverse polarity here probably the light is on this equipment is working the outlets are working but the neutral let me explain that one this is a critical situation i'm going to turn off everything let me explain what happened if I have reverse polarity. If you have reverse polarity, it's because you connect this one, the neutral, on the hot boost bar, and you connect the hot on the neutral boost bar. You make a mistake, and you connect the neutral on the hot and the hot on the neutral. Okay, what happened if you have reverse polarity? If you have reverse polarity, the neutral boost bar right now is hot. And the hot boost bar right now is neutral. Ah, Mr. Lopez, but I think that everything is okay because the light is on. The computer is on. Everything is on. Yes, my friend, everything is on, but right now the neutral boost bar is hot. What happened if for some reasons, look at this. This is the neutral boost bar and the other one is the ground boost bar. What happened if for some reasons you put one equipment, you connect the, the neutral with the with the ground or the ground with the neutral. Because there are technicians, there are electricians dedicated to work in a, in residential electricity or industrial electricity, and they say that the neutral and ground can be connected together. This is not possible in marine applications. Remember, in marine applications, only at the source of the power, neutral should be connected with ground. After that, should be separated. Separated uh, boost bar for neutral and separated boost bar for hot. Never put together. If somebody enter in the boat and work installing other equipment and connect together this with this, and this one right now is hot, is catastrophic. If this one right now is hot, and you connect suddenly the neutral with the ground, the ground right now, the bonding, the bonding, is hot 120 remember what equipments are connected to the bonding system to the to the bonding boost bar 
you remember? The true holes, uh, the metallic fuel tanks, uh, all the metals inside of the boat shall be connected to the bonding, to the bonding metal. If the bonding metal, if the bonding metal right now is hot, the corrosion in the fittings, the corrosion on the true holes, the corrosion on the transducer is accelerated. And the boat suddenly is sink because those elements are perforated because the corrosion is accelerated. This is critical. If you have reverse polarity in a boat, immediately, immediately the bonding have power. The bonding have AC power. What is the enemy uh, of the bonding system? Okay, the enemy of the bonding system is the current, the extra current. If the extra current is AC, it's more catastrophic because accelerate the corrosion in between two dissimilar metals together faster. What happens when you have two dissimilar metals together in a marine environment? You have galvanic corrosion. What happens if additionally, when you have two deep different metals together, you have extra current passing through the metals? The corrosion is accelerated, especially if in between both of them you have humidity. The corrosion is accelerated and the more noble metal attack the less noble metal and destroy the less noble metal. This is catastrophic. For that reason, if you have the light of reverse polarity of the reverse polarity indicator on, you need to solve the problem immediately. If not, probably your bonding boost bar right now is powered with uh, AC power with 120 or 240.